On March 30, 2012, despite a massive protest from LGBT and other human rights activists, as well as many concerned citizens, the notorious law banning the so-called gay propaganda went into effect in St. Petersburg, Russia. Nonetheless, LGBT activists were able to receive a permit to hold a mass rally to celebrate the International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia on May 17, 2012, but you will see now. In this one year since the law was adopted, the situation for LGBT people has become much more tense. This rally is only one example and there are many more. For the most part, the law is not applied directly, but is used in all sorts of subtle ways. It puts additional psychological pressure on LGBT people. This is especially high for same-sex families with children, who are afraid that their children might be taken away from them. And also for LGBT teenagers who are now left without any information or support. The violence against LGBT people has grown too. But not only that, often enough the abusers are explicitly referring to the gay propaganda ban to justify their actions. On May 17, 2012, we gathered about a hundred people for the Idaho celebration. Another hundred came to beat us up. For a period of time they were held by the police. But we had to finish the event early and then were taken in the police buses to a safer place. The angry mob attacked two buses with migrant workers that happened to drive by just minutes later. Fortunately, the society is not united in the approval of such violence or the law itself. Many people of the democratic movement show their solidarity and support. The international support has also been very important. One thing that the law was not able to achieve was to silence the LGBT community. On the contrary, more people are ready to be visible and speak up, to sign petitions and go out into the streets. The LGBT movement not only in St. Petersburg but all over Russia is growing and getting stronger than ever before. And this, together with global solidarity, makes us hopeful even during these hard times.